Hello, and welcome to the Food Bank of the Southern Tier Senior Mobile Food Pantry Orientation. What is a food bank? A food bank is a place where we source, store, and distribute food and grocery products to our network of hunger relief agencies, which provide direct products to those in need. We are a part of a larger network called Feeding America, which consists of 200 food banks across the United States. This is a visual representation of the flow of food. This is just to give you an idea of the various products that we source and have shipped directly to our warehouse from all over the US. Of course, our sourcing goes beyond the United States borders and we do source food from all over the globe. Here in New York State, there are 10 food banks. And as you can see from this map, they focus on various regions in the state. We work together on statewide initiatives and often share and source food with one another. Here at the Food Bank of the Southern Tier, we serve six counties, Chemung, Broome, Schuyler, Steuben, Tioga, and Tompkins. That's over 4,000 miles of land covered and over a half a million people served. We have 300 partner agencies. Those include locations like food pantries, meal sites, shelters, school food centers, mobile food pantries, and other nonprofit organizations. You might be wondering what the difference between a food bank and a food pantry is. The best way to describe that is that a food bank serves agency partners, like the ones mentioned in the previous slide, and food pantries serve our community members in need of extra food. Food Bank's mission is working together to build and sustain hunger-free communities throughout the Southern Tier. Our vision is the Food Bank of the Southern Tier is committed to creating a future without hunger where access to healthy food by all is recognized as fundamental to the well-being and success of individuals and the foundation of a strong, vibrant society. Where do we get our food? About 25% of our product is donated food. 40% being purchased food, and about 35% of our product coming from USDA commodities. We invest over $60,000 a year in our annual senior MFP budget. Some of the donated products we receive are close to use or sell by date, foods with extended use by dates, discontinued items, mislabeled items, unlabeled items, test product inventory, promotional items, seasonal items, and various bulk pr product. This is a visualization to describe the flow of food. First, we receive product from both manufacturers, retailers, and wholesalers. We also get donated product from governmental commodities and purchased food, which all arrives at the food bank. Then we distribute this product to our network partners. Those could be, as mentioned before, shelters, meal sites, pantries, school food centers, all so that in the end, this product ends up in clients' hands, folks who need food. Here's an overview of our programs and partners here at the Food Bank of the Southern Tier. Some of our programs include youth programs. Those are our school food centers, backpack program, and kids farmers market, designed to target children in the K through 12 age bracket. Other programs are our mobile food pantries. That includes your senior MFP sites. Our partners are food pantries, meal sites, shelters, and residential homes.
Here is a program overview of our Senior Mobile Food Pantry program. What is a mobile food pantry? FBST trucks deliver fresh produce, perishables, and other food products directly to a distribution site where people need food. In 2022, 14.3 million pounds of food were distributed, including 2.76 million pounds of fresh produce. Senior MFP sites differ from public sites as they are usually only open to building residents or program participants. Here's some requirements to be a senior site with the food bank. You need a community or area determined by the food bank of the southern tier to be underserved, a MFP site coordinator and secondary site coordinator, a location to host the mobile food pantry that lists the food bank on its insurance, three to seven on-site volunteers to assist at each of the distributions. These can be residents or program recipients. A willingness to promote the senior MFP. Submit regular feedback to our team to help build a better program. And an ability to submit reservations and statistics to the food bank of the Southern Tiers Service Insights platform. Here are some location requirements. Indoor locations can include community centers or senior housing community room with access for deliveries and MFP distributions. Outdoor locations should include a designated space for the distribution, room for clients to stand while waiting to shop and several chairs for those unable to stand. The location should be easily identifiable, providing signage when needed, ample parking for volunteers and clients. Site coordinator role and responsibilities. Delivery schedule. The Food Bank of the Southern Tier delivers to senior sites on the third full week of the month. Senior MFP agreement. It outlines the agreement and is signed by the senior MFP site coordinator, sponsor agency, who is the host, and the food bank. View food safety training. Our health and nutrition team has created an MFP specific food safety training video and quiz we will share with the site coordinator and secondary site coordinator. Service Insights. Service Insights team will be, will schedule a time for training on how to submit reservations and how to submit your service statistics. Site coordinator role and responsibilities. Site coordinator will recruit and manage volunteers to assist with the setup, distribution and cleanup on the day of the senior MFP. Maintain current contact information, a volunteer team, and communicate any changes. Expect a day of commitment of three hours, one hour for setup, one hour for distribution, and one hour for cleanup. Expect an additional one hour of work for promotion, volunteer management, and stats. Volunteer roles. Setup crew should be two to three people, on-site attendance person, one person, service insights entry person can be one person as well, and distribution assistance can be two to three people. Here are some suggestions when considering how to promote your event. The senior MFP site coordinator, if the event is closed to the public, should consider internal promotion something like a community newsletter or a bulletin board. Not necessary to exhaust all of your avenues, but these are things that we suggest that you consider. If the event is open to the public, consider promoting through the city clerk, office of aging, health and human services, libraries, and other places where folks would get food or congregate. If it's open to the public, the food bank will add this to our senior MFP information on our website and share with 211. On distribution day, everyone receiving food must be entered into the Service Insights platform. This is for statistical and planning purposes, but also in case we have a food recall. The amounts of each item are set by the driver on the based on the number of people registered. Our distribution models are client choice, which means that 
shoppers are allowed to and encouraged to choose items that they want and not made to take anything they don't want. At the end, when there's an excess of product, if a client would like to bring to take extra food and or a volunteer, we would encourage you to have them do that. So once your distribution is over, all that's left to do is clean up and break down your area. We ask that all the recycling of cardboard and disposal of trash is taken care of, as well as sweeping if needed. We ask that you operate on a leave no trace rule. Once you've cleaned up and your volunteers have left, it's time to update your service insights number, marking everyone who's received food as served. Let's go over the Food Bank of the Southern Tiers cancellation policy. If the local school districts are closed, Due to inclement weather, the MFP distribution is automatically canceled. MFPs may also be canceled due to extreme weather. When bad weather is anticipated, the MFP site coordinator and programs and partnerships coordinator can discuss a closure in advance of the distribution. For cancellations other than weather, we'd like as much advance notice as possible. The site coordinator must let volunteers know. As part of your partnership with the Food Bank of the Southern Tier, we will be performing biannual site visits. These will be conducted every other year by your programs and partnerships coordinator, where they will be providing technical assistance to site coordinators and gathering feedback on food bank services. Also discovering site trends and strategies that work well at your location. Here are a list of ways to stay connected with us here at the Food Bank of the Southern Tier. Please reach out if you have any questions or comments.